بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه ومن والاه اللهم أرنا الحق حقا وزكنا اتباعه وأرنا الباطل باطلا وزكنا اجتنابه السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته The topic of the presentation today is about optimism having a positive attitude and the concept of optimism is is a simple but very deep one something that affects our life all aspects of our life and basically everything in life has a good side and a bad side a positive side and a negative side but when the person has that optimism he'll be able to see the positive side now it doesn't mean being distracted from the reality but it help you go on through life much more easily and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said that even the false accusation of Aisha alayhi radwan Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said لا تحسبوه شرا لكم بل هو خير لكم. So there was even some benefit in that story, the lessons that were learned, and the process that has to be followed whenever a doubt isn't there. And Sufyan al-Thawri عليه رضوان الله said that even hellfire, Allah subhanahu wa taala created it out of His mercy, because He said because of hellfire, people in a way stay away from trouble, or people will be motivated to worship Allah subhanahu wa taala better. And the basis actually of that optimism is the belief in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. See, everything that we're discussing is based on the belief in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But another thing which is very important as a basis for the optimism is the belief in oneself, in the gifts that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given you, in your abilities, in your capabilities, your potentials. And subhanAllah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in the Quran about the Prophet Muhammad alayhi salatu wasalam, Amana rasulu bima unzili alayh, that the messenger believed in that what was revealed to him. And one of the dua of the Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam, before the person goes to sleep, the end of it, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the Prophet says, Amantu bi kitabika alladhi anzalt wa nabiyika alladhi arsalt. I believed in the book that you sent down and the messenger or your Prophet that you have sent down, means him himself. And commenting on the verse in Ali Imran, uh, where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says وَمَا يَعْلَمُ تَأْوِيلَهُ إِلَّا اللَّهُ وَالْرَاسِخُونَ فِي الْعِلْمِ that the only ones that will know the meaning of certain verses is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and those firmly established in knowledge Ibn Abbas said I'm one of those that's why it does and that does not conflict with the humbleness but this is part of the reality and Yusuf alayhi salam said in the Quran Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says قَالَ جَعَلْنِي عَلَى خَزَائِنِ الْأَرْضِ إِنِّي حَفِيظٌ عَلِيمٌ Put me in charge of the treasury, I'm, I can do a good job. This is, that's why this is the basis of the optimism, is to, be, to believe in your own self and what you can do. And, also it's, and it also includes believing in, in other people. Now this doesn't mean, by the way, that, that when you have that optimism, that you'll be a pacifist, that you will accept things the way they are not, without changing anything. No, but there's a big difference actually that when you have that optimism, it means that you can you maintain your tranquility in dealing with situations instead of freaking out. Optimism includes three aspects when we were talking about it. It includes optimism in, with oneself, optimism uh, with others, and optimisms with situations, with life in general. And inshallah, we'll try to focus on one aspect today and leave the second, uh, the remaining two, till tomorrow. Believing in oneself or the optimism in dealing with oneself. This includes actually loving, loving life, having, enjoying the good things in life. And the Prophet had that alayhi salatu wasalam. The Prophet mentioned in certain hadith that there are certain things in life that were made beloved to me. And that does not contradict with working for the hereafter. And the Prophet used to like to be with his wife, uh, his wife alayhi salatu wasalam. He used to like to play with al Hassan and al Hussein and the kids. That's why this is this some, something that would help tremendously in life. Another, another aspect of optimism is to focus on, on oneself instead of focusing on the others. Yani whenever sometimes we look for shortcomings, we're always good at finding other people's shortcomings, but not our own. This is not part of the optimism. Why? Because when you're focusing on yourself, that means that you're focusing on something that you can change. Sometimes you can't change what other people do, but that's something, something is certain, is that you can change yourself. That's why by focusing on yourself, that attitude itself would result in something. 
it would be able to achieve something and not just criticizing for the sake of criticizing. Another aspect of the optimism with oneself is to put a goal for yourself, to have something to live for. Now, I'm not talking here about the general goal, I have only created men and jinn to worship me. This is the general goal, that's to be every person's goal. But sometimes, based on our qualification, certain qualities, and our the things that we like, we may be able to set a specific goal for ourselves. I want to serve Islam. Well, but how? You know, be specific as to how you can do that and what you can do in yourself. And subhanAllah, when you set a goal for yourself, then it would give a different meaning to your life because you can monitor actually how you're doing and how you're faring. There's a beautiful verse of poetry in Arabic that says, be somebody that if they come after him, they will say he was here. And we can see the traces. He left something behind him. That's why it is good to have something that you can leave behind you. And that goal, by the way, can evolve. It doesn't have to be set for life based on what you discover about life, based on what you discover about yourself. But having a goal for yourself is part of the optimism. Another aspect of the optimism is that try to be achievement oriented try to look for achievements. Now, of course, we commonly say that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will judge us on the effort and not on the results. This statement actually is partially true, but partially not. Uh, yes, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the one that sends the result, but we are required to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by trying to achieve the best results. That's why the result is something to take into consideration. But at the end, whatever happens comes from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But be achievement oriented. Another aspect of optimism with oneself is to give yourself the credit for something good that you do. That's why it's, it's good, it makes you feel good, and it would motivate you to do something more, inshallah. Of course, all the blessing comes from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, all the credit goes to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, but it is good actually to feel good about achieving something, that I did something, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala blessed me into doing something like that. Another aspect of the optimism with oneself is uh, to learn new things in life to learn about new things in life. That's why don't stick with the things wallahi, that I learned in school and that's it. I'll spend the rest of my life using them. SubhanAllah, especially technologically, it's advancing so quickly. That's why you have to keep up. And when you learn certain things, you know, you feel that you're doing something and it would help you out. It would motivate you to do even more. Another aspect of optimism with oneself is the language that we use. You know, sometimes the language that we use would reflect, would feed back actually on our own attitude. That's why, subhanAllah, some people, every time they open their mouth, they ventilate complaints, something bad to say. And that would affect, subhanAllah, it would make it even worse on them. That's why if you maintain beautiful language, the optimistic language, it would affect your own attitude. This is briefly certain aspects about optimism with oneself. Uh, there's also, of course, like I said, optimism with, with others and optimism with situations, inshallah, which we'll be discussing tomorrow. Jazakumullah khair, walhamdulillahi rabbil alameen, wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.